So can you have LASIK laser eye surgery to treat long sightedness? Absolutely. It took a little longer to evolve, but we're many years down the line of the evolution of the technology to deliver fantastic outcomes for the treatment of long sightedness. Very typically, in order to achieve a really good outcome for the patient, the lasers have to slightly overcorrect. So what happens in the first weeks after the laser eye surgery is that the skin of the cornea tries to heal away the effect. And it does that in a very predictable way. And so what the lasers do is they cause a slight overcorrection. So typically on day one, my long-sighted laser eye surgery patients will be euphoric about their near vision. James, this is amazing, I can see this tiny print. But the distance vision will be just slightly blurry because we've actually taken them from being long-sighted to being a little bit short-sighted. But this then relaxes out over the following weeks. We get our final result usually at about 10, 12 weeks after the surgery. We do find the enhancement rate is higher with our long-sighted patients than our short-sighted patients, and that's because there is more of this healing required. Typically about 5% of patients will require a return to the laser three to six months after the original treatment in order to fine-tune the outcome and get that real sharpness of vision that they're after. In terms of the range of long-sightedness that we can treat, there's a lot of debate about how far you can push this amongst different surgeons. And it does appear to vary slightly between different laser platforms. There are some platforms that are very good at treating long sightedness. The Zeiss Mel 90 platform, which we use, is, is very good. Also, the Schwinder Maris and also the Alcon Wavelight, they seem to be particularly good at treating long sightedness. And we, we all have patients where we've managed to treat up to about plus five, plus six. It is very patient dependent. It is affected by the tear film preoperatively, the corneal thickness, the corneal steepness beforehand as well. We're having to make the cornea quite steep if we're going to perform a very long sighted correction. And if there are patients already starting out with a steeper than average cornea, you can end up with a shape that is not going to give them really good optics and maybe slightly more difficult for them to wet with a, with a nice tear film. So as with all the work we do, it's about tailoring, customization, and not pushing things too far making sure that we're comfortable and confident that we can really deliver a safe and effective treatment for that patient.